Well, hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play Total War Warhammer 2 with our legendary Lord Grimlock. Um, that's not what I intended to say, I meant to say Grim... I'm getting excited, I see it. It's just there. With our legendary Lord Krokgar with his new mount Grimlock. <gasps> He's got one more point to spend. Let's get Deadly Onslaught so he can get these skills. Two. Right, let's get you the Ancient Stegodon, which is means you're going to get rid of your artillery, big giant bow, but it's not really going to do much, and you'll get some giant blowpipes instead, which will be devastating against infantry, though it's going to, your range is only going to be a third. You're also going to have a lot more health, a lot more armor. A slightly less melee attack, a wee bit more weapon strength. That's about it, really. Ancient Stegodon! The Slinky and the Pain. The Slinky and the Pain. Right. I really want that. We're going to be able to get cold ones soon. It's almost all our money gone already. None else to build anywhere else, is there? Well, what happens to my public order here if I move you out? Negative two. And when he crosses, crosses the border? Negative five. We're just going to have to deal with it because next turn we should be able to do our ritual. And I'm going to need this guy up here to try and deal with intervention armies. Attention 14 upkeep for blessed spawning. They did update it, so you get the upkeep reductions, don't you? Yeah, 214 for them. It's the same for the blessed spawning. You won't get them. That'll give him his basic melee line. Though it is definitely cutting into our income quite substantially. But we do need an army back up here because there are going to be intervention armies coming out of the cajones. Probably. In turn. No wonder where Chaos is going to spawn this time. Are they going to come by boat? Are they going to come from the same direction as last time? I don't know. We don't have as beautiful a choke point anymore. I've got the two settlements here to defend. So if they come from like here, I'll need to defend from here. If they come from up there, it'll be here. So yes. Plus they'll probably be split up this time actually now that I think about it. Come in from two directions, so it'll be a real pain if they come from there and there. Like, rah, both settlements. I think it's most likely they're going to come from up here like last time. I wonder if there'll be a Skaven one involved this time. Because it's Skaven and Chaos Armies. So yeah, we're going to be gearing up. I don't think we're going to do the ritual this turn. As I don't feel ready for it. I think we're going to do the ritual... Oh, next turn. Or the turn after. Give me a couple of turns to prepare. Because as Scar always said, Be prepared. Right, now what do these guys want? Military access? Sure, why not? You know what? Speed this up. Speed it up. Okay, lovely. What's this doing again? Leadership, movement range. Ah, we want the movement range. Right, keep on the moving up. Too long to recruit anything, I'm afraid. Oh, lovely. 
Uh, let's get the defenses up here, because I've got no army here straight away to defend. If they spawn like there, boom in. Yeah, that'd be a nightmare. So the wall will be brilliant. And so we'll have them there, and if they do spawn up there like I think they will, you'll have the time to get up there and help out. We're not going to do the ritual this turn, because we've not even got him up to the Serpent Coast yet. What settlements will it be? Temple of Skulls, Serpent Coast. Right, so I'm going to probably want him sitting in the Serpent Coast so he can jump either way and defend either way. No my luck. Chaos will spawn. There is boom into Avenue of Gold or Sun. Sun really, really bad. Like my income, main source of income in the form of gold. Let's end turn for now. Then I might wait until he's recruited some cold ones. Some cold one cavalry! Which will give me some, some much needed speed if there's an elven intervention army. <clears throat> Cold ones are glorious. <clears throat> <clears throat> Clear my throat. And this is the day I'm recording this, I did see a wonderful uh, thing about the upcoming historical Total Wars as well, which I'm really excited to see. There's the DLC coming out at some point. It's to be announced soon what it is. It's for an older historical title. And it's going to have a DLC and a huge free DLC accompanying with it, just sort of updating the game and make, improving it in ways. And then the DLC will probably add a few new factions, this type of thing. Um, I'm not sure how hyped I am about that because I'm going to wait and see what the DLC is. If it's something awesome, something I'm interested in, yeah, super hyped. If not, man, no, the Total War getting an update that's quite good. Um, then there's another standalone coming out game. In the same sort of vein of uh, Fall of the Samurai, and this is something I'm super excited to see because I love Fall of the Samurai for Shogun too. So I'd really love to see them do something similar for Rome or Attila or whatever historical title it may be. And then there's the full historical title. Oh, we should be starting to get information on that soon. Start moving up to the Serpent Coast. Can now recruit. Cold ones take a couple of turns though. So... Just get me three of them for now. And then next turn... We may start getting some cold ones. So is that armory merely done? Oh no, it's multiple turns till it's gone. So yeah, just normal cold ones. <laughs> At least that's giving me time to finish off this as well. And you can see we're creeping past it. We're probably going to do complete the ritual but at the same time as Lothurn. Which will be good because then they'll have their hands full with that. But I'm also, you see, I'm creeping. I'm way up to there already so I'm getting closer to the third one. So don't mind finishing it about the same time as them. I'll still be closer to the third one. we just got a wee bit of prep work to do before we're ready defensively. Because we need to be prepared if Chaos spawns somewhere over here, and we need to be prepared if Chaos spawns somewhere over here. Can't emphasize this enough, because we can't afford to be losing land and losing all this build buildings I've made and that sort of thing. We need everything. Then once we're ready, we're going to expand to the south. If those guys aren't going to confederate with me, we may just go to war with the elves now. I feel strong enough. And we'll have Cold One Cavalry. So I'm really not worried so much about their archers as I was before. Because before I was just imagining them kiting me for days. This is my Saurus slowly. I don't even have control of them evermore. Evermore? I don't even have control of them anymore. Just sort of rampaging across the map slowly as the elves just go oh we run three steps turn around fire oh we run three steps turn around fire oh we run three steps turn around fire <clears throat> it's the thing of nightmares for a saurus warrior is my throat has been 
all over the place today. <clears throat> there we go. Excuse me. I'll take a wee drink as well. As I rabbit on, we're rabbiting on. I think I'm going insane. I'm not going insane. Let's just go and hurry up and get out of my territory. I'm not even allowed to attack him because he's a. Uh... That would be helping the AI. He's already failed his ritual. Can I not just attack him, get the experience and money? Cold ones. Do we want spears or do we want normal? So they're both armor piercing. These ones have anti large as well, but they lose a wee bit. These ones are also a lot cheaper in upkeep. You know, I'm not going to be using them against large, so I think I'm just going to go for these ones because I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> yeah, I really need to be a cheapskate right now. So one, two, three, four units of them, two turns, then this army will be ready. It'll be like, come at me, bro. Dude, we're definitely going insane, right? What's this? It's one to tell me. Oh, brilliant! We really need that. We really need. We really, really, really need that. And I really want it. I really want it, and we can get the garrison building there, and it'll be glorious, and the public order will still be a problem until we take here. Okay. Hang on, because I'm starting to think, hmm, we're going to need a third ritual resource site, and I'm just wondering where is the closest one? I don't think there is any more here. We may go for a wee adventure over the water then see if we can get one of the ones here there is one somewhere around here why can't i've got why have you got a random line of sight to here not to here there oh is that where i oh that's where my quest battle was derby derp yeah actually it'd be quite fun to go back to our native homeland of lustria take out Kalan pestilence I think that would be a very good idea. Right. Ritual soon TM. Right, next turn we should be able to enable it because we're not the chaos isn't gonna be one turn away, so I'll still have one turn to finish off the recruitment. And an intervention army needs to be summoned. So I should still be oh, but then if it attacks Serpent Coast. I'll have the garrison to auto resolve it, yeah that'll be fine. Because I, I won't have the cold ones yet, so. Okay, what do these guys want? Their demands, I join the war. No, I'm paying up to do a ritual! Can you not see it? I'm busy! And their plans are to conquer south, not north! I'm gonna go after the elves! Then I'm gonna want you and your yellow buddies to confederate with me! Then we're gonna go kick Clan Pestilence, but and it will be glorious. This guy just hurry up and go squish Clan eh, whatever Morbs? Yeah, Moors. Posing ritual fields. Oh, the dumbs. Mission field. Ah. Right. So yeah, we can now do the ritual. We don't really have much money we can spare, but let's do the ritual. Is it the same three settlements? Yes, it is. Five thousand to our treasury. Oh, nice. Begin the ritual. The ritual is underway, my lord. Even working together, it will take your greatest adept some time to complete. Such is the ritual's power that the Great Vortex itself distorts under its pull. Be wary, though, for while the Vortex is weakened, the forces of chaos will slip into this world. Ready your defenses, for they will doubtless be drawn to the ritual's power. 
four armies. I thought there was only going to be two. Right, now that is problematic. I did not expect them to spawn in the middle of my territory there. I expected it to be up here or over there. That is literally the last place I expected. Oh, even if we force march, we're not in range of here yet. Oh no! Oh no! I don't want to lose that shit, eh? Tempt me not. Aha, he's not in range of it either. Never. Neither is he. Brilliant. And hopefully... Oh, he may just be beelining it for here anyway. So if he was going to force march it back this way, yeah, that's the fastest way. <gasps> Look! You can see him! He's came out! Kremlock! Lovely. It's beautiful. You know what? I think we're going to perform this right as well. Right performed. Right, there's no intervention armies yet, but there is four armies coming after me. I thought there was only going to be two. They spawned somewhere about here, wasn't it? Here, maybe? So I think they're going to beeline it straight up for one of these two settlements. So hopefully they'll leave the Avenue of Gold alone. If they don't, I do have fortifications here to hold them. But I don't want to move this army this way because an intervention army may spawn here any minute. Hey, is there anything else I need to do? Or am I ready as I can be? I think I'm as ready as I can be. We just gotta hit the end turn and pray there's no interventions. Ah, there's an Elven intervention. I will call my allies. How big was it? How big was it? How nasty is it? I can't see from here. Speed things up. Doesn't look like it's a full stack to me. Oh, it looks like a full stack. Then there's some form of ego. <laughs> I've got walls everywhere, so by the time I get up there, it should be fine. We'll upgrade that. Oh, wait a minute, no! No, 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 no! I just realised a huge mistake I've made! My recruitment building's there! I'm not gonna have the cold ones! I did jump the gun! Pow! Jump it! 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 Wait, what was that? Did I just get a mission? Did I complete the mission? Right, right, right. What's all this? Go away. Where was the mission thing? Son of a blessed spawning. There, I think that is it. Blessed horned ones. Uh, I think I'm gonna want a trade agreement. Oh. Hello. Lovely. I hunt. There is desperation. Yeah, look, see, I'm not getting a trade agreement with them. Damn it! I quashed. You know what I'm gonna have to do then? Spam slings. I should have a turn there. We should have a turn to. Right. Looks like they are slowly coming over here. Let's take them off force march. Move them to there. They are moving slowly through the jungle. So hopefully he'll move to there, I can grab him, he'll move to there and do his next turn and then he can come over here and help out. 
That will incur my wrath. At least with the serpent, of course, we've got a nice garrison. I hope they don't go in this turn. If they go in this turn, I'm screwed. Let's create an extra save point. So we've got the save point we started at today, turn 51 we can go back to. Now we've got the save point here we can go back to. And then just pray they just wait another turn before they go in. That is a lot of cavalry, there's no- if this auto-resolve doesn't let me win, there's no way I can... <sighs> I suppose these guys might be able to just nuke them quickly, but I'd have to pray. Pray and I hope. A hope and a prayer. Stonemaker, he wanted more of them for his mission. Right, it's hope and a prayer. Ugh. I doubt they'll go in the first turn. They're probably going to want to at least get a... Two turns worth of... Siege equipment ready. So those followers of Chaos just got destroyed by attacking Mars. Okay. Good to know. What do you want, Bowman? Military Alliance? Yeah, we'll up it to Military Alliance. Brilliant, they did exactly what I said. More band of the Serpent. They just landed, they're not attacking yet. Brilliant, that gives me more time. This could be perfection. Right. Lovely. Right, start heading back down. Let's get the next into Proud Warriors. That does seem to be affecting them now, which is good. Lovely. Oh, we got a new banner. Weapon strength plus six. Who's gonna give that to? You know what? I think that'd probably be based on Kropgar himself. Gives him fire damage and weapon strength plus six. Brilliant. Let's look at his weapon strength. And let's get him another five percent. This he's gonna be brilliant. He's gonna be able to nuke everything. He's gonna be he's got armor piercing. Bonus fees large, bonus fees infantry. Let's just take a look, see what it is. Right, basic weapon strength, 226, 514 armor piercing weapon strength, and only six bonus fees infantry, 47 against large. So really everything, he's just gonna tear asunder. He doesn't need the bonus versus infantry or large to deal the damage. He's just a monster. He's going to be great at nuking enemy lords now, especially with that really high weapon attack. I think we're going to max out his weapon strength. 
and then that'll be it. He'll be a god. Honored Elder. You could really use that. And our upkeep reduction for the Saurus, etc. Plus a ward save for him. Now we may take a look at getting jungle this here, the jungle domination, because the ranks should start piling up for these Saurus fast. These guys are already six. Unless Unchevron counts as one, then they're seven. They're already good enough to get that ability, but with this guy doing the training, let's take a look at him. He's already got training maxed out, he's already got his cold one, it's gonna be 15 for that. And let's upgrade Enforcer of Order. Right, Slinky and the Pain. His Raven laughs, laughs at my name. What? He's my, remember Slinky from when the game first came out? He now has a giant mount, so he's Slinky and the Pain. We'll get him Arcane Conduit. The Slinky and the Pain. <laughs> Boom. Crocgar, you're a god. Right. Now, Croc, everything over here is really safe now. We definitely don't need them over here. Because there's no more Chaos Armies or Intervention Armies going to spawn over here. Well, Intervention Armies can't spawn over here. But there is some Chaos and the possibility of Intervention Armies over here. So I think we've got this pretty much cleaned up now. The two armies at once. We've got lots of money. Let's get myself that and let's get myself that. Turn till that's done. You know what? I'm really happy this now. We're really in a good position. The elves haven't even started theirs yet. Hehehehe. <laughs> 29, what happened to 30? I was getting 30 a turn. Hmm. I must have completed a mission. That must have been why it was said 30 that turn. It did. Do so. Bye. See you shortly. That's Raven just leaving. She's going to pick up one of the way ones from the nursery. Let me guess. Oh no, I thought it was going to be another intervention army. They want a peace tree. Nope. I forgot I was already at war with them. Right, they're both probably going to beeline for the Serpent Coast, but I've got a wall which is going to give me time to get there. It's going to be awesome. Bidger, bidger, bidger. Jajer, bidger, bidger. Jajer, jajer, bidger. Jajer, jajer, bidder. Better, better, better. Dadu, dadu, dadu. Dadu, 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 dadu. Band of the Serpent, what are they doing? Oh, that's not what I expected them to do. Uh huh. But I should have the range to retreat. Retreat! They shouldn't have the range to get both armies in. At least I hope not. Uh oh. Did they? Did they? Did they? Did they? Did they? Oh, phew, he's marching. <gasps> Crisis averted! A brutal business. Oh, nice. Is that a curiosity? Wow, okay. Oh, we lost the Saurus unit. Was it a blaze spawning? It was. Oh, that's painful. That was not worth. I should not have lost the blaze spawning unit there. Proud warrior. Max that out. Has... 
move him on down. Once we're at it, let's just take a look at things. Just trying to get public order with them as good as possible. Who calls? Do not greet me as a friend, nor are we foes. No. Okay. Rish, in turn. Now let's see what Chaos does. It's stuck between a rock and a hard place. They're probably going to start besieging the Serpent Coast. Well, actually, they might attack Krokgar. Never even gave that a thought. If they do, I'll just fight it and it'll be easy. Moors are expanding, eh? That's good for me because I can expand there. That's my plan. We can attack the elves and attack them from underneath. Because I want this land this yellow faction owns, but I want you to do it peacefully with them. Hey, they might have. Ooh, they might confederate with me now, that though. Oh, wow, no. Uh, Mars, I think you're going to have to give up the territory. They've got a full stack incoming. They just attacked the other army. Okay. Oh, that's a disappointment. Wow, 32%. That's a lot. Right, that's chaos dealt with. Opposing ritual started. Right, uh, we'll get you your cold one. We'll move you there. And then we're just going to... Three, yep. We're going to disband these. Hmm, crop scores. Gold ones, horned ones. Speed 76, they're quite a bit faster. We've got a lot more melee attack, same melee defense, more weapon strength, more armor. <sighs> you know what, just. They'll do, they'll do. Give me a couple of them. Then that'll be this army ready to rock and roll. And then you're just going to stand there and wait for any more intervention armies that may think they're hard enough. Let's take a look over here. Oh, lovely. Let's get this up. Let's start moving you on down then, because we're going to go to war with the elves next. Take over here. Oh, lovely. we got this too. Where we go? Just give me that. Give me that. We're fine there, unit-wise. I'd really like some cold ones, but I wouldn't know what to take away. Maybe some Saurus, but he's recruiting at the moment anyway, so... And that shall be a part. It's going to keep annoying me till I buy it, so I'm just going to buy it now and get it over and done with. 
So yes, hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me in the next part where we're going to leave this army here the now to guard against any interventions that may spawn. Whereas Crocgar and Grimlock come on down and are going to attack here. Then we'll see if we can get a peace tree with them because I'm nah, not going to be too keen on going over here. So is that their only settlement? Don't they have the yeah, they've got the Fortress of Dawn too. So I'm gonna take there, then I'm gonna try and get peace treaties. Then I'm gonna be bum 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 up here. Try and get these guys to confederate again, actually, whilst we're at it. Oh, 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 oh. Yay! Oh wait, 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 what? They have land over there too? Do they? No, they don't. It's just those. Was... Payments, demand payment. Let's up it to military lines, payments, demand payment. Brilliant. If I take a look at here, the only problem is now though. Oh, right, we've got this, right? Get me rid of that. We've got the diamond mine. Lovely. I'm gonna keep him there then now. We've got this massive army. Led by a slan. His abilities. Oh, he's maxed into Proud Warrior too, that's really nice. But he's already moved this turn. Okay, so we're going to use this army to quickly take over here, and then we might just disband it. That's a lot of Saurus warriors he's got. Then once we've got the two armies, we'll be able to pincer in. And so yeah, we're not going to go to the war with the elves, we're just going to use this to attack here first. So yes, hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me all next time. Bye-zy-bye. -bye.